Hey everyone, it's your buddy Crypto Profit back with another video, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at Polkadot. We see Polkadot at 3584 right now, a 1.15% increase in the last 24 hours alone. If we take a look at the last week, we do see a 16.04% decrease, obviously going from about $48.36 to our all-time high, down with this market crash as well, uh, seeing that Polkadot did not uh, do very well during this market dip and market correction. Do remember that pretty much every coin struggled through this, and we're just going to see Polkadot struggle as well. In the last month alone, we do see good potential increases and we see a lot of potential behind Polkadot altogether. We see right now a $33.4 billion market cap and the volume in the last 24 hours is at that $3.3 billion as well as circulating supply being 931.8 million dots. So we do see a lot of potential behind Polkadot. We continue to see a lot of growth as well. Obviously, um, there was this uh, correction that we talked about and it is going to kind of deteriorate just a little bit there before we see another large increase. We do see a 1% increase in the last 24 hours, so hopefully we can continue to increase in the right direction. A lot of people were able to get in at very good entry points. If you were to told me that uh, we could get in at $32 into Polkadot, after uh, you know that massive increase to forty eight dollars, I would have thought you were crazy. But uh, you know we are seeing these corrections really giving you guys good entry points uh, to these projects at low rates. So let's take a look at some of the things we wanted to look at today. Obviously, we're going to be doing price predictions for April, May, and twenty twenty one at the end of the video. So stick around for that, uh, as well as make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, and like the video if you guys like Polkadot. I will continue to make more Polkadot content, obviously based on more likes and uh, making sure that this video gets a good amount of views and make sure. I keep my viewers happy basically. So let's jump into the first thing. So being part of Polkadot and Kasama is being part of the most important launch and movement in since Ethereum. Take notice that the teams building these platforms are focused on building, testing, perfecting the tech with no cor correlation to market timing. Think long term. So I do like that about Polkadot uh, specifically is it definitely seems like they are thinking long term when investing or not investing, sorry, when they are working on their project. Uh, it seems like these projects and updates aren't just getting pushed out randomly. They are focused fully on when they have them polished over and correctly uh, completed. So I think this is a very big thing as well. So thanks, Dan, for that uh, tweet. We go on to our next tweet. We see something's big is coming. Polka Markets MVP Testnet, a gamified prediction markets powered by DeFi, NFTs, and Polkadot. It's time to forecast a better future. It's time for Polka Markets. Join our MVP whitelist for beta testers. So this is big, obviously, too, for Polka Markets as we continue to see uh, we continue to see big increases in the Polka Markets and Polka Polkadot altogether. Um, so let's jump into, and I, I saw this little tweet down here. I'm not sure on this, but it says, is this tied to BPRO in any other way? Yes, I believe they use BPRO code. I'm not positive on this, but uh, that would be pretty cool if it was powered by BPRO. It says BPRO Bull, actually, so I'm assuming that's not a real official account, I don't believe, but um, you know, it, it could be powered by BPRO. I think it is. We did see a jump in BPRO recently uh, because of maybe this, uh, but we'll see in the future if this affects BPRO's complete price. Overall, this is a Polka, Polka Dot uh, video, so I haven't looked into that too much, but Polka Markets itself is going to be big, and I think Polka Dot altogether will benefit from this. Jumping into our next article, we see Polka Dot plus Orion. Orion Protocol integrates Polka Dot into Orion Terminal via Moonbeam. So Orion Protocol expands to Polka Dot by integrating a moonbeam into Orion Terminal. We have Orion Protocol, the liquidity uh, aggregator building a decentralized gateway to the crypto market, announces Orion's code has been successfully migrated to the Polkadot ecosystem via mean boom, our moonbeam and is underway the building of the UI and UX for integration into the Orion terminal. So this is obviously a very big deal for Orion as we continue to see more and more people understand that Polkadot has very, very high utility and use cases behind it. So let's jump into the actual website itself. If you guys don't know, um, you know, you can take a look at the website. I definitely suggest doing so. I'm not a financial advisor. So, you know, do your own research, jump into Polkadot.network and uh, figure out more about what Polkadot is trying to accomplish. So Polkadot development is on the track to deliver the most robust platform for security, scalability, and innovation. So it does have true interoperability and, uh, we do have economic and transactional scalability, easy blockchain innovation, forklifts, and future proof security for everyone and user driven network governance. So, a very big thing to look at in Polkadot is the governance staking and bonding. They talk a lot about that throughout their pretty much their entire website. If you go down a little bit more, you can see that open source protocol built for everyone. Polkadot is an open source project founded by the Web3 Foundation. Web3 Foundation has commissioned five teams and over 100 developers to build Polkadot, including obviously some big names, Parity Technologies, Chainsafe. 
Um, I'm not sure how to say that one specifically, Saramitsu, and then the Polkadot JS as well. So if you go down here to the bottom, you can actually see more about their blog and how to get involved, as well as their technology at the top, as well as community uh, in there about. I will say, guys, the biggest thing to look at uh, when you're looking into new projects is obviously their utility, their use cases. Why, why is this even being developed in the first place? And then the biggest thing to follow is the team. Make sure the team is solid. Make sure it's a team that is capable of doing you know, what they're you know, attempting to do. And I think Polkadot is definitely a team of solid, solid people with big visions. And I, I do think uh, Polkadot's going to do very, very well in the long term. So jumping back to our prices here, I want to take a look at the last year loan. So we see very, very stable, um, a very good looking price chart altogether. So uh, with our most recent dip, we actually didn't go below our, uh, you know, our other $30.44, or sorry, $30 and 44 cent. Um, I guess our high, our high low. We're still we're still above, um, you know, thirty three eighty seven here on the side, and because of that, we didn't break that uh, that previous low. Um, and I think I'm looking for the right terms to use here to make it as simple as possible for you guys. I know we have a lot of beginners here on this uh, on this. Uh, well watching this content. So I'm trying to keep it beginner friendly. And that's why we use the Coinbase charts, obviously. But it really, I'm trying to say that uh, we haven't went lower than our previous low. Um, so we are still looking very good for Polkadot. If we continue to stay above that $30.44, we'll continue to see growth. And I think, you know, with coming with this all-time high of that $48.36, we're still looking very, very healthy. This is a very good uptrend, healthy price chart for uh, Polkadot. I think we will continue to see good things. And we'll go over price predictions now for April, May in 2021. Do remember, guys, I I try to keep my price predictions as reasonable and realistic as possible. So these will probably be a little bit on the conservative side. Um, but do remember there's potential for much higher. Obviously, I'll try to stay on the low side. So polka dot going to the end of April, I think we will see, you know, a price right around that $40 mark. I think we will make our way back to $40. We won't get to our, you know, a new all-time high by the end of April, but I do think about $40, $42 is reasonable. Jumping into the end of May, I think we will continue on an increase. Therefore, we will make our way past that all-time high, make our way to about $52 to $55 at the very least. I think $55 by the end of April, or sorry, by the end of May is going to be a very, very big possibility. So $55, maybe a $52, $53 stabilization. Jumping to the end of the year, this is where I think we will continue to see Polkadot race up. And with that, we'll see Polkadot right around a $300 to $400 range. I think it's possible that we see it, you know, right around, I should say more likely around 200 to $300 range. So I think a 250 to $300 is exactly where I see an all-time high coming for 2021. So I do think there is a massive amount of potential still behind Polkadot. I think it's going to move fairly quick. We do see a market cap that's at 33.4 billion. And that's what only, you know, keeps me at that $250 mark realistically for an all-time high. Because, you know, like I said, there's a fairly large market cap. Uh, so $250 is my all-time high price point. And I think about $220 is a good stable spot for Polkadot. If we continue to see, like I said, all these updates coming to Polkadot and all these projects continue to come out in the utility and use cases that we continue to see with Polkadot, if we see a lot of investors understanding that there's maximum potential involved with Polkadot, we will see a lot of people jumping in uh, You know, at this cheap rate. I think a lot of people understand that this is still a very good rate for Polkadot, $35.84, obviously lower than Chainlink at this point. And I think a lot of people understand that that's a good investment opportunity. So Chainlink and Polkadot, obviously very big coins, Polkadot doing its own thing as well. So we'll continue to follow Polkadot through its, uh, you know, through its 2021 period, but it looks like a great coin to invest in. Make sure you're getting good in it getting in at a good entry point and make sure to do your research before investing. Thank you guys so much. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on and like the video. If you guys want to talk with crypto like-minded people like myself, jump in the discord link in the description below, as well as follow me on Twitter. Also linked in the description below. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys all in the next one.